surrounded by the amount of students. Black power!
Let's walk straight to my car. Let's go. It's like slow. So we're gonna get a 
started with our speeches, and our first speaker is senior, Parker McNally. Uh, first, is it, it would be easier for me to use this or the uh, bullhorn? Bullhorn? Okay, yeah, I, I uh, Make sure this thing's working before I start. All right. 19 years ago today was Columbine school shooting. That killed 13 innocent students. At that time, this was an atrocity that we as a society couldn't fathom. 13 students killed. Now, in 2018, 19 years later, it seems like we're due for a new school shooting every few months. No longer is it shocking when a gunman kills one or even two people. News stories seem to only explode after mass shootings. But why? Why has this become our normal? Why is it that, we, that when we see a school shooting, we say, oh, it's just another one? Why is it that each and every time another mass shooting occurs, we collectively mourn for those lives lost and take the time to advocate for change? But within a few weeks, sometimes even a few days, it's gone. All of that fire and that passion that we have now, that we had after Sandy Hook, that we had after Orlando, disappeared. We have yet to make a difference a palpable difference in these 19 years since Columbine. 19 years ago, we weren't alive, and it's taken our whole lives for this change. The time is now. Today, we marched out of school without regard for the punishments that we may face. We stand together in a time where our strength as youth in our society is underestimated. We have the power to make a change. We march for our lives today. Now this issue transcends all political boundaries. This is not a debate over our party. This is one of our own survival in our schools. We deserve our education more than they deserve to own their own weapons. We want to know as citizens of this nation that we don't need to live in fear of a domestic terror attack. We deserve to know that our lives are most important to our country, not the possession of a machine that kills those lives. We march for our lives today. So I ask you. Ooh, you know, cards was a bad idea. <laughs> but I seriously ask you, the youth in our society, when you turn 18, even before then, will you cast your vote? Will you make your voice heard in our society and not stand by and let innocent lives be lost to the violence in our schools and in our society? <laughs> Will you continue to fight for our lives, no matter the consequences? Yeah? yeah? All of you here have chosen to make a stand by being here right now. All of you have made your voices heard today, and I hope I could be the messenger for all of your voices. Today, we marched for our lives. Thank you. And next up, we have Adina Kutazovic, Kutaz uh, who has orchestrated this whole thing, so I want everyone to give a great shout out to her, give her a round of applause.
Every minute we spend out here today represents a life stolen at the expense of gun violence. A classmate gone, a coach, a parent, sibling, best friend, completely stripped of their future. It was only a little over two months ago, although I'm sure for the families and students of Parkland, it feels just like yesterday. Just a little over two months and the headlines have nearly come to a halt. Our politicians are coming out from hiding behind their desks, pockets full of checks from the NRA, relieved that once again, people are giving up the battle on the issue of gun violence. But as the youth in America, we have to let them know that we are not backing down. We are picking up the many pieces generations before us have left, and we will relentlessly fight until change is made. And not only are we honoring the 17 lives lost in Parkland today, but the 13 that died in the Columbine shooting on April 20th of 1999. Never again should us as students fear going to school, unknowing if we will return home or our parents have to fear for us. Not only school, but movie theaters, churches, and concerts. I fear that the desks of my fears will empty. I'll have to attend the funerals of my friends and we will become a statistic like the schools of Parkland, Columbine, Virginia Tech, and Sandy Hook. Our lives are worth more than $6.47. And our politicians who receive money from the NRA should be ashamed for putting a price on our lives. They are to be held accountable for the death of their own citizens, and we will make sure that they know they are accountable. Thorough background checks need to be implemented, especially to prevent those with mental illnesses to obtain weapons. Bump stocks and magazines banned to prevent weapons to become automatic weapons of war. And extensive training for gun owners. And it is our duty as we are approaching or already meeting the voting age to get people in office who will do these things. We are not only standing up today for the lives so selfishly taken in Columbine and Parkland, but for our lives. Sophomore Maya Van Arum. Yeah, I'm here to speak on behalf of those who were silenced due to gun violence. I speak for the innocent lives who were taken way too young, for the children who were unable to escape the place that was supposed to be safe, for the parents who are afraid to send their kids to school. It is time we open our eyes and see that gun violence has gotten out of control. Today we stand in hopes that our voices are heard. Today we march for the innocent lives taken in every mass shooting around the country and the entire world. The United States has had over 50 mass shootings over the last 20 years, and that is due to the fact that purchasing a gun is easily, easily accessible. When will people realize that guns are becoming an issue? No child should feel as if they are not safe at school or out in their community. We need more thorough background checks, a ban on assault style weapons, a ban on bump stocks, and more training for those who are gun owners. We as kids need to stand up and fight for these innocent lives. I push every single person to try and make a difference in their community. Our opinions do matter. We can't go and change the world alone. We have to band together and push others so that we can make a real and lasting difference. Our demand for change is in banning guns we want stricter gun control. Never again should a student be afraid to go to school. Never again should a parent be afraid to send their child to school. Never again should another innocent be taken at the hands of a shooter. Before shutting our opinion down, let's remember all of the victims of the Columbine shooting, the victims of Sandy Hook shooting, and the victims from the Las Vegas attacks. All of these innocent lives were taken and we did not do enough to stop this. I encourage each and every one of you to ban or to demand action from our representatives. So our next speaker is actually doing a poem and it's sophomore CC Young. Innocent lives have been taken, we need to fight. No matter who we are, black, Asian, Hispanic, Muslim or white, we need to fight, we need to fight. We need to stand up for those taken lives. 
We need to make a change. We need to keep the guns in the gun range. We need to ask people about their mental health and not only their age. We need to make a change. We need to make a change. We need to stop sitting back and watch this happen. We need to stand up and we need to make it rapid. We need to stand up. We need to stop saying we will and put it in action. So let's put it in action. save lives. When you see those signs, you can report it and save lives. When you see those signs, think of Texas, Florida, and all those other schools, and especially today, April 20th, Columbine. Think about those students, their sisters, brothers, moms, and dads, their friends, their futures, and the dreams they had. And it's all in a gun. That's why we, the people, are all so mad. See, if we had more laws with this, those students, friends, siblings, and children wouldn't have to be missed. They could live the life they were meant to live. Today, uh, I'm going to ask that everybody does a 17 second uh, silence, moment of silence. Thank you guys all for coming out today and participating. Don't forget to vote when you're of age and uh, head back to class in a timely manner. Thank you guys. Woo!